Hello, Behar YFM. How you guys doing? How you doing? How you doing? How you guys doing? If this is your first time clicking on my video, thank you, thank you, thank you. And to all my OGs, thank you for always coming back. So today we're going to be speaking on it. Speak on it. Speak on it. Speak on it. We're going to be speaking on it. Okay? On the current situation between Messi. You're no messy if you don't know. I'm gonna leave, leave a new link on down below. Please subscribe. She just she have a new YouTube channel because our old YouTube channel is our old YouTube channel has been hacked. All our social medias as all our social media accounts has, has been hacked. So she have a new YouTube channel. I'm gonna leave a YouTube channel on a new I'm gonna leave a new YouTube channel below please uh subscribe and you know support her I following her i would say like over two years ago when she did a vlog max i started following her i love what she presented to us i was like wow this is a beautiful couple with a baby with a daughter then i thought she was married you know and before we knew she did a video saying that she was separated from her husband come to find out they weren't married you know you know so i was like okay what's going on so i kept watching her videos i was so i was so i was invested i kept watching all her videos and she talked to, you know she said she was with the guy for a couple of years you know the guy was very abusive now i'm talking about her ex before i knew fiancé okay so the a baby that now i'm i'm um, I'm talking about her baby daddy. So she said the guy was abusive. She left him, you know, moved to, moved to a new state, you know, moved to a new state. She moved to um Atlanta, to you know, and with her new boyfriend. So I was like, ah, wait a minute, a new boyfriend? Did you just break up with your boyfriend? Did you just break up with your baby daddy? But what am I to complain, right? What are we to complain? So anyway, while I was watching the video, I was like, you know what? If you are happy, I'm happy for you. If you are happy, we all happy for you. You know, if you are happy, we are happy for you. The most important thing is, are you happy? You know, but I didn't write that down. I just said, if you are happy, girl, we are happy for you. If you are happy. So at the end of the day, you have to be the one to ask yourself that question. Are you happy? Are you really happy? You know, I saw different comments. I saw several comments that people were writing. I saw a lot of comments when people were saying, oh, that is too soon. That is too soon. Then she got upset. She did another video saying that um you you i understand you guys on um, concern i understand that you guys are worried about me but i'm a grown woman okay you know if i feel like i want to go into a relationship real quick blah 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 she did that i said oh girl that's right look do your thing you know you know people are just watch i understand where people were coming from to be honest with you guys i understand where people were coming from you know you know people were a lot of people were saying it was too soon for her to jump into a relationship but then again we have to remember that she, this is a grown woman okay this is a grown woman some people it doesn't take them that long to heal some people within a month you know and I, you know and the way she, uh, if you really listen to what she said when why she was in uh, in the uh, when she was with her ex with her baby daddy she wasn't happy so I guess she was just waiting for that right guy to get her out of that relationship. You know, she was waiting. She was she was waiting for someone to get her out of that relationship. I'm thinking maybe I'm thinking maybe she met her current her fiance. You know, why she was with her baby daddy. So I was like, you know what? You're a grown woman. If you feel like a month, couple of months is all you need to move on, why not? You know, why not? Do your thing. But you have to ask yourself, are you doing it? Are you jumping into a, a new relationship to pepper your ex? Or are you doing it because you, you are here? Because you are ready to move in you am ready to move on. That was my that was why I asked her that question. And that was why I wrote that comment. I said, if you are happy, we are all happy for you. I'm happy for you. You know, I'm happy for you. That's what I said. So then you know then she she moved she moved to or, or she moved to atlanta you know you know then she uh, we saw the guy she, you know before you know it she did a video with the guy say oh okay find our chocolate man why not you know the guy's in love you guys stop worrying about her she's fine so people are like who oh, he look you know this guy looked too too this guy looked shady this, i was i was really in, in in every video that this guy was supposed to be that guy people were like hmm, i don't trust him hmm, must must be careful must Messy this, messy that. I was like, you guys calm down, calm down. Let her do her thing. If she make a mistake, she will learn from me. Let, let, don't worry, okay? You know, I get you guys' points, but guess what? Sometimes when a girl is in love, there's nothing you can tell her. 
when someone is in love, there's nothing, and you, you can't tell them anything. Some people, unfortunately, some people have to learn from their own mistake. Unfortunately, there's nothing you can tell them. If you try to advise them, they'll think you're jealous. They'll think because you don't have a man, you don't want him to be in love. Because you're not happy, you don't want him to be happy. That is what most people will say. So, you know, sometimes people, some people have to learn the hard way. Unfortunately, Messi had to learn the hard way. Unfortunately, she, had, she, she learned the hard way. Boom! She was doing all these videos with this guy, you know, I was like, oh my god, they're so sweet, they're so happy, you know, she's in love, you know, they bought the house together, I said, yeah, that's what I'm talking about, they got engaged, I said, yeah, that's what I'm talking about, you know, you know, you know, they, they, they're happy, right, you know, they're happy, you know, that's what we all taught, boom, last week, I saw videos, I said, ah, videos, what's going on, I saw the first video she did, I said, ah, what's going on, break up, okay, what's going on, break up, Break up. Uh -uh. This guy just got engaged. They just put the house together. I saw them decorating the house together. What's going on? You had a photo shoot. We saw the photo shoots. What's going on? So, I don't watch the video and she said the guy was controlling. So, according to her, she said the guy, according to her, she said the guy is very controlling. The guy, you know, wants an 1800 kind of wife. She kept saying all these things about him. I said, ah, uh -uh. this guy. This guy that you said makes you happy? What? What's going on? I said, boom. Let me go on this YouTube channel. Let me find out what this guy is saying. Is he saying anything bad about her? What's going on? So I believe the guy have like six videos or something on his YouTube channel, right? So, and then I, I think each video, each video is like, each video is less than, less than 20 minutes. So I sat down, watch everything. So I said, mm, this guy is just trying to be a motivational speaker. That's that was that's all I saw. So it wasn't it was it wasn't it wasn't it wasn't you know bashing her, it wasn't saying anything about her. The guy is just trying to be an hustler. So I said, boy, do your thing. As long as you're not as long as you're not you are not scamming anybody, you know. I was like, you know what? I ain't got time for him. Let me go back to my channel. So I went back to my channel. I kept watching like I went back to my channel. I showed another video. He said he's trying to keep up with the Joneses. I said, hmm. A grown man trying to keep up with the Joneses. This is America. I said, This is America. Who are you trying to impress? Who are you trying to impress? I don't I don't get it. Who are you trying to impress? At your age, you're trying to keep up with the Joneses? Really? 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 You know, trying to go after brand name stuff. You know, she said he spent she said this guy's account is always negative. I said, I'm always negative. Really? Oh my goodness. Are you serious? I, I, I couldn't understand if your account goes negative once in a blue moon, you know, once once every six months or once in a year, but always negative. Why? She said every time this guy sees money, <laughs> he's always going after designer. So I went over, so I went over to his I went over to his profile, see, this guy's always wearing Gucci, wearing all these big designer clothes. I said, uh uh. I don't have a problem with you buying designer clothes once in a while, but everything in your closet is all designer clothes. Why, uncle? Are you okay? At your age? Are you serious? What's going on? So, I was like, are you serious? Are you okay? Spending all your money on designer clothes when you have a family? Anyway, like, like I said, I don't, have any pro I don't have any business with him. Let me go back to our page. So I went back to, I invested a whole week watching, watching their videos visiting their channels their instagram accounts and all that okay so i was like so i was like really you know he's driving a sports car according to your woman according to your according to your woman you don't have a job you know you're driving a sports car you're trying to keep up with the joneses really at what age at what age so she said she's the one she according to she said she said she's the one feeding him putting food on the table for the family i was like wow so somebody was like somebody said you know all this i read a comment where somebody said you know all this and you stayed with him for over a year hmm. i was like oh so i read that comment i was like you know what i've been there before so I, I can't judge her. That's the honest truth. I've been there before. I cannot judge her. Because I know it's not easy to get out of a, 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 to get out of a toxic relationship. I know it's not easy. 
trust me you don't know unless you're in that situation you don't know you don't you don't know what you're gonna do anybody can talk from money tonight like oh no if that was me i would have god would have would have left his ass if that was me i would have i would i would have been gone it my dear sister you can't change a man you cannot save a man that is not ready to be saved you cannot we walk trust me i've been through it a lot of us have been through it we learn from our mistake and that's why I'm speaking on it right now. Because I don't want I don't want another sister to fall victim. That's why I'm speaking on it. Because I don't want another sister to fall victim. You've learned your mistake. I'm pretty sure you've learned your mistake. And please stop calling him your fancy girl. Please. Stop calling that man your fiancé. Because every video you keep saying, I'm my fiancé. I say, girl, are you serious? The man, you, 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 the man that treats you this way, you still calling him. Come on, man. call his name. Call his name. Stop calling him your fiancé. If you have to clothe him, feed him, and feed his children. Come on, girl. Something is wrong. To me, I feel like this. the, the red flag was there. You saw it. And you feel like it was too late to get out. I get you. We've all been through it. A lot of us have been through it. But I'm so glad that you're speaking out now. Because that's the first step. The first step is to acknowledge that there's a problem. And you walk out. Yes. People say your first your first breakup went viral. So what? Oh my goodness. I don't want the same I don't want I, I want I have to fight to make this work. Guess what, girl? It takes two to fight to make a relationship work. No one person. You doing everything for him to be financially stable. You doing everything for you. You doing everything to make this guy realize that you can't keep running after the Joneses. You are you are trying to help him. But the person that you're trying to help is not even helping himself. So what's the point? That's why I said you cannot save a man. You cannot save a person that is no that is not ready to be saved. Ladies, please get that. You can't save someone that is not ready to be saved. You can't. I know a girl that was dating a guy that she thought the guy was educated. She thought the guy had a college degree. Come to find out into the relationship. Into the relationship, she found out that the guy just have high school diploma. She said, okay, fine. I'm going to help you. I'm about to start my, uh, my, my, my PhD now. So I want you to, 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 to go back to school. I want you to go to school. And she helped him fill an application, register, fill an application, register his classes for him, did everything. And the guy was like, no, he's not going. She paid for the application. She paid for the, for the college application and everything registered him into like go she did the financial aid she did everything and the guy was like no he's not going come on man she ended up breaking up with you she said look i'm trying to go up here she said look i'm trying to go up here and i need a man that's gonna go up with me i don't want to be here i want to climb the ladder i want to go higher in life i have a goal i have vision and I don't need a man that's gonna drag me down. And I'm trying to help you, but you have to help yourself. She broke up with him. She broke up with him. Now she's married. She's happily married with, with a great guy. I actually hooked them up, okay? <laughs> I actually hooked them up. Now she's married to a great guy. You know, so women sometimes. Not even women, even men too, okay? Sometimes we try, we think we can save somebody. Trust me, you cannot save someone that is not ready to be saved. That is not ready to be saved. The sign is there. You saw it, girl. Like somebody said, why did you wait over two, almost two years? I know it's not easy to get out. If somebody is, is, is abusing your workouts, emotional abuse is not good. Physical abuse is not good. Financial, abu financial abuse is not good. If somebody is abusing you financially, that's what the guy was doing to you, baby girl. You were spending your money on him. Spending your money on his children. What is he giving you back in return? Hello? Sex? Come on. Come on, girl. He, maybe that was good from the beginning. 
But guess what? You get tired of it because you want more. You want more, right? There's more to relationship than sex. Hello? Let's be honest now. I'm speaking on it. I'm being honest now. There's more to relationship than sex. What is it? What is what is it bringing to the table? What is is it bringing to the table? What age does it? What what is does he have to offer you? The sex was good and everything, you know. Then what? You deserve more. You deserve more, ladies. Even guys too. You deserve more from your partner. We deserve more. So, for everyone telling her, oh, she should have left. I'm sure it wasn't easy. Come on, man. You are in a relationship, so have you left? Have you left your man that's cheating on you every single day? Have you left your man that's talking down on you? Just because our life is played out on, on YouTube, now everybody want to be a judge. Come on, man. In our last video, I said, girl, you'll be fine. And that's true. That's the honest truth. You will be fine. You will be fine. When I was turning 30, I said, no, I am done. I'm done. I'm tired of giving my all to someone that is not giving me anything. When I was turning 30, at 29, I said, no, I refuse to be 30 and still be with someone that I'm giving everything to, but it's not giving me anything in return. You can't keep faking it. You'll get tired of it. You'll get tired of faking it. You can't beg someone to love you. You can't guess, you cannot beg someone to be emotionally present. You cannot beg someone. You can't. You don't beg for love. You don't beg someone to love you. When someone is in that in, in that relationship, they'll be invested in it. Someone will invest, if someone is deeply in love with you, they will invest their time. They will make sacrifice. That's why I always tell young girls, when you're dating a guy, make sure that you love with your senses. Love with your senses. Make sure that <laughs> you're not blindly in love. Your eyes is wide open when you're falling in love with somebody. The days has been done. Look, forget about it. He's let him go. Don't worry about it. fine. So what? People will talk. We talking. People will always talk. That's life. But just be careful, girl. So messy. Don't worry about it. Your first breakup went viral. So what? Your second one went viral. So what? The most important thing is. You don't allow yourself to fall, okay? You don't lose your service team. You don't lose your service team because these guys they know how, they know where to get attacked. They know they know what they're looking for. They have a target. When they look, they look because you've said it on your videos that you make money on YouTube. You make money on social media. So these guys, when they come, they're looking for women that are well established. Women that they're going to feed on. That's going to take care of them. The lazy men out there, unfortunately. They'll come. So it's talk. What? They'll, they'll go and borrow cars if they have to. They'll tell you, girl, you are the most sexy girl I've ever seen. You are the most beautiful girl. You wine and then they'll take you to the best restaurant, get you the nice wine, do everything. So that's why I said, love with your eyes, with your eyes wide open. Take a break from relationship. Love yourself. Go on vacation with your daughter, with your friends. Bring your relative. And like I wrote in one of your comments, you know, when somebody was trying to bash her, I said, no, it's not that easy. Living in a different state where you don't have your family, where you don't, because the lady was trying to, the lady was talking about, I said, girl, calm down. You're not the only one living in America, okay? She said, in America, I said, girl, please. You're not the only one that live in America. So, you know, don't try to come over with an American thing. People always trying to show off her because they live in abroad. So I said, it's not easy to live in a state, to live in a different, 
in a different environment, in a different state, in a different country, when you don't have your relatives with you. So I'm not sure if you saw my comments. In case you're watching this video, I said if you can bring one of your send one of your relatives to come live with you. One 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 I believe one 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 Nigerian YouTuber in California did the same thing. You know when she was going through what when she was going through whatever she went through, she moved her sister from Maryland down to California to live with her. I believe that we have too. Because I know it's not easy raising your daughter, staying over there in, in, in Atlanta by yourself. When you don't have relatives around. Because sometimes you need somebody to hug, to talk to. Just talking to them on the phone is not, is not, is not enough. And I'm sure you moved down to Atlanta because of that guy. Look, sell your house and move back home. If none of your relatives want to move, move down there with you, sell your house and move back home. You don't have to live in the same city with your ex. You don't have to live in the same city. Ohio is very big. You can live in a different city. I remember when I was single, I met a guy that told me to move to whatever state the guy was living. I said, ah, me, you move, uncle. If you want to date me, if you want to marry me, you have to move down to my state. I'm not moving to nobody's state. He was like, I can't do that. I said, why? He said, how? Oh, I tried it once. I moved. The guy made my life miserable. I said, hey, hey. The guy made your life miserable. So you want me not to come and move? So you want me to move? I said, uncle, no, I'm not doing it. Mind you, I was in my terrace. I could have easily jumped, right? I saw a guy that was talking to me on the phone, telling me all this nice stuff, right? I could have packed my bag and moved. A move right but no I was single I was praying for a partner but I was not desperate no I was not so that's why I say fall in love with yourself be madly in love with yourself know what you want heal take time to enjoy yourself to enjoy your own company to enjoy time with your daughter to enjoy time with your friends go on vacation read books on weekend go to the shelter and feed the homeless that's what made me happy when i was single Th those are things i did to keep myself busy i was traveling traveling i was going on vacation going on vacations going going places on weekends when i'm home Monday to friday i go to work to school on weekends, on Saturdays, I go to the shelters and feed the homeless people. On Saturdays, I go to church, go to choir practice, go to church. I was occupied. I didn't even have time. I did not. Guys were trying to talk to me. But I said, no. Nobody got time for that right now. I need, I need me. I need me time right now. I need a break from relationship. Trust me. Trust me. When that time comes, the right man will come. But you already have, you already love yourself. You already healed from, from whatever you went through with your ex. You want a man that is already healed, that is ready, that is whole. That is ready to be a man, to be a husband. To be a partner, to be a lover. You're not going there to babysit anybody. You want a man that is that is not trying to be that is not trying to follow the Joneses, that is not trying to keep up with the Joneses. No. Keep up with the Joneses. Why? For what? No. Want a man that is ready to be a life partner. Take a year to focus on yourself. Look, I know you're a lover, girl. You like to be in love. You like to fall in love. I understand. But take a break. Guys, I'm sure your DM will be full right now. Guys, will, every, look, because they know, they know you make money on social media. Everybody will want to come. But take a break from them. Look, when you're ready, you, they'll come. Take a break from them. Focus on yourself. And when you when you're ready, make sure when you when you see the sign, run. Have a rule. And what are your rules? 
write it down. When the guy comes, look at him. Trust me, girl. You can smell when a guy is lying. Very easy. When a guy is lying, you will smell it. You will know. What are your non-negotiable? You don't have a job. Mm -mm, no, I'm not dealing with that. I'm not ready to babysit anybody. You don't have a college degree. Look, I'm not ready. Look, I'm not ready to send you to school. Deal with it. Is it a guy that's always partying every weekend? I'm not ready for that. Don't say hi. Ah, it's a guy. He must go out every weekend. Go out every weekend for what? Go out every weekend. Why? Go out every weekend to do what? Go out every weekend to show off that what? That you're a badass guy? Come on. What are the things that, oh, he don't, oh, 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 yeah, I, I pray, but I don't believe in going to church. That's why I said, what are things that you cannot, you, you just cannot compromise? What are your non negotiable What are things that you know that you cannot even, you, you know that you are not willing to take from nobody? What are things that you know that you know what? I'm not, I'm not even going to change this. I'm not going to cross this out of my book. What are your non-negotiables? The signs will be right there in your face. See it right away. And say, no, I'm sorry. I'm not interested. When I was ready to start dating, and I was going out on a date, I went out on a date with this guy. I said, Uncle, how old are you? The guy said, 32 or 33. I said, no. This uncle that I'm looking at. You are older than that. He said, no. I said, no, 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 no. What do you mean? That's my age. I said, no. That's not your real age. What is your real age? I said, don't worry. Me, I don't mind. I don't mind if you are older than that. Just tell me your real age. No, he said it was 35. Then I think I was like 31 or 32 or so. I don't know. I can't remember. I said, no, uncle, you are older than that. What is your real age? Let me say something. This guy have everything I was looking for. Pretty much everything I was looking for. This guy have opportunity that I'm looking for. Oh, this guy have the key to some places I want to go to in the future. But I was like, no. You're lying about your age. And I know. It's not saying, oh, what if that's his real age? No, I know that's not his real age. I know it. And my guts was telling me this guy was lying. I, I let her find out. I'm I let her find out later, 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 later. And right there, I said, um, oh, you know, after we finish, after we finish, we finish, we finish dinner. We're supposed to go to the movies. I said, um, oh, unfortunately, I don't feel like going to the movies. Let's just go. Home. There's no point of me going to the dinner, to going to movies. Which I said, no, let's just go home. I have a standard. Love yourself. When you love yourself, no man will, no man in Nigeria will say no man will use it to do shakara. Love yourself because they know that girl, this guy is very, she's very, look, I'm a big girl, but I'm very confident, okay? Love yourself. Love yourself. When a guy, when a guy will tell you not, you in shape, trust me, you tell him straight to his face, I'm shit, I'm everything, I'm everything that you're not. You tell him right there in his face. Don't let anybody make you have low service team. That's all I have to say. I left a comment and I told her you'll be fine. You'll be fine, girl. You'll be fine. Just for now, just leave relationship. Work on yourself. And when you're ready to start dating, watch out for the sign. You will be fine. You'll be fine. But for now, take a break from men all men are not the same okay all men are not the same at the right time you find the right man but for now take a break here keep doing your youtube keep doing your thing the right one will come at the right time love you girl you are beautiful you have a beautiful daughter you're gorgeous you're a go-getter be unstoppable don't let anybody stop you don't let anybody stop you. Don't let anybody stop you. Let him go. Don't get yourself involved in this drama. He just want to use you to blow. Don't get, don't get involved in this drama. 
You don't need it. Be great. Keep doing your thing. Who we'll keeps supporting? I'm always supporting you. May I I will always support you. You're a beautiful black woman. You're a beautiful African queen. Beautiful African queen. Gorgeous with your beautiful smile, girl. Be unstoppable. Do your thing. We love you. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in my next one. Bye bye.